Hi guys and welcome back to Julie and Andy's Ace Ventures. This vlog is another than other collective Excellent. collaboration vlog. And for those of you who've never watched one of our collaboration vlogs before, the collaboration is a group of like-minded caravanners, campervanners and motorhomers and we get together once a month and film a video on the same subject previously chosen by the group. This month's subject is how we plan a trip. Don't forget the logos for all the other channels will be up here somewhere and can I have some up here? Maybe. Okay. Might put them up here. But we've got a couple of new people in the collaboration this month as well. So Welcome to you new people. I hope you're going to enjoy doing the collaborations as much as we do. And also guys, don't forget to click on all the other channels and their descriptions or their channel links will be in the description down below. So number one is both of us getting the same time off at work. Uh, departments where we can't have the same time off as somebody else. Timing. Timing's round our yeah, work. work is not always And work easy. colleagues. And work colleagues. But once we have managed to find some time that we can get off at the same time, we need to decide on number go. two, yep. which is which vehicle we're taking, the camper or the caravan. So I think for the purposes of this video, we're going to assume we're taking the caravan. So number three is deciding where we go. And the first thing I normally do is go on Google Maps, get up a map, do a bit of mooching around. We do a lot of searching. We, we do a lot we of do searching. A lot we of put searching. a lot of into when we're planning. And we change our mind several times. Oh, we, we do so definitely. We're going to Scotland. We're going to Wales. We're going to go down south. Oh, we're going to go to Norfolk. <laughs> one of our favourites. Yeah, we're yeah. not. We're not in Norfolk this year at all, are we? No. Um, but yeah, so we go on Google Maps. We have a bit of a mooch around. Um, decide where we want to go, and sort of what kind of trip do we want? Do we want a, just a chill out trip? Yeah. Or do we want somewhere more city wise or you know? Mm. Um, which then leads us on to step number four because we need to look for a campsite once we've decided what area we're going to. We need to look for a campsite, and when looking for a campsite, again, you can look down Google Maps, mm -hmm. can't you? Yeah, Google Maps is really good. I get it really big and I walk around and I look at different campsites. Oh, we've got um, the Search for Sites app, which is really quite good because that gives you loads of different types of sites. Tells you what sort of sites they are, whether they're peaceful sites, adult-only sites. Yeah. Um, we, we also look at the reviews. Cause yeah, we do read a lot of the, the reviews. The reviews are a big thing to us because it'll, it'll tell you the truth, whether, it, whether they're right or not, we don't know. Yeah, but I mean, um, we have read bad reviews yeah, as well. Yeah. So, because yeah. I mean, I know sometimes you've seen... You'll have seen it yourself on things. Oh, well, they only put keep the good reviews on, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. But I think you've got to read through the reviews because it gives you some yeah. sort of yeah. indication of what the site's like. Point number five is obviously you're travelling a distance with a caravan, which uses a lot more fuel than just going mm. in the car. So we are sticklers for having a budget. Yeah. And so we would like to calculate roughly what it's going to cost us to go. Yeah. So we and, if will... we, and if we can get there in one tank of fuel, yeah. or we've got to stop and refuel. Yeah, normally we don't go yeah. that far, do we? Yeah. We'd have to refuel, we'll fill the car up before we go, get to site. Then if we have to refill it, because obviously we go out and about from site, then we'll refill once we've got the caravan on its pitch. But it is... Another, another point as well, isn't it, is the school orders. Yeah. Because we found the sites inflate the prices. They do uh, inflate the prices. When it's a school holiday. For us, because we have no children that we take with us, because they're yeah. all grown up and got their own children and everything. Well, my son's older than me. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how do yeah. you work that one out? No. <laughs> um, so we try to avoid the school holidays because, basically, I don't like being ripped off. Yeah. I don't like the fact that all of a sudden it's school holidays and they put the prices up so they can make more money because yeah. those of you who've got children understand, yeah, yeah. have to use the school holidays. So we try and avoid that because we don't want to pay the extortionate 
prices yeah. that they charge. Yeah. Once we've done all that, we've worked out our budgets, we know what we've got, we know what the site's going to cost us, takes us on to tip number six. Tip number six for us is deciding places we can visit while we're there. Yeah. So again, it takes us back on Google Maps. And usually Maps, on the, uh, the site itself, the website of the site you're staying at, yeah, it'll, you know, it'll tell you all the places to visit Yeah. and how far them yeah. places are. Um, if you're in the caravan, you've got the car to, to visit these places. Yeah. So. Particularly the caravan and motor club, mm. you get a leaflet when you land on site, yeah. don't you? And it gives you all the different sort of local attractions. But we like to know before, and you can get it off the club site as well. You can get the yeah. leaflet on there. So you can see what's in the local vicinity to where you're staying. Um, so we do that. We also look at English Heritage and National Trust because we're members of both. So all the National Trust houses, gardens, etc. are yeah. all free to enter for us, yeah. as is the English Heritage. The National Trust is pretty good for car parking because yeah. if you're a National Trust member, you can park in their car parks free of charge. Um, and they can charge up to £9 a day. Mm. So for a full day out, you know, there's there's a lot of places, country places, where they've got car parks. For so, instance, we're going to Cornwall and that um, castle place we're going to, which like... <laughs> Tintagel Castle. Yeah, castle place. Um, <laughs> that's like, what is it, £16? It's £16 each to get in. So, so we're, that we're getting it free. Yeah. £32. Pound. Yeah, yeah. So as I said, we like to budget. Yeah. Number seven takes us back onto Google Maps because when we take the caravan, we plan our route down to a T. We don't leave anything to chance. You're a long vehicle with a caravan, so you need to have plenty of room. So we plan everything down to what lane we need to be in, where we come off on a roundabout, etc, etc. And I know this is a little bit sad, but... As you know, Andy doesn't particularly like towing anyway, so if we can plan as much as the journey as make possible, yeah. we'll make it easy, and that makes it easier on Andy. So that is our tip number seven. Tip number eight, or whatever seven, you want to call no, it. No, it's four. eight. It's definitely, yeah. it's definitely yeah. eight. Is we look for where we can do our food shopping, because our caravans on storage. So we can't get the fridge and everything cold before we go because we don't bring it home. It's just too big to bring home. Our drive will not accommodate it. Um, so we like to know that there's a supermarket within a reasonable distance yeah. so that we can just take enough to get us through into probably the, the next day. Mm. Um, or we'll get a takeaway or something, won't we? Oh, I'm having visions of that one where I had to carry that shop and I got the wrong route. Oh, that was sent me yachts. Sent yeah. him off to Max and Spencer's, didn't I? Oh. And he, he must have done 10 mile coming back because he's got no sense of direction whatsoever. And it was 20, 20, 28 degrees. It was 28 degrees, yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. But, so, so lesson, you lesson there. Is that, that good then, is no. it? Well, you should have planned your route <laughs> back, shouldn't you? But, yeah, lesson there is... Don't send the men to get the shopping because they get lost up way back. Oh, me. Do you know what it is, really? You probably sat for an hour in pub, didn't you, having a couple of pints? No. <laughs> anyway, back to the vlog, love. We're deviating. So, yeah, we like to make sure there's somewhere local we can get, get the shopping when we get there. But let's go on to number nine. So number nine, again, for us is, as I've already said, the caravan's in storage. So we need to pack everything in the car. So I have got numerous storage boxes, which line up normally along the sofa, and I'll have one for clothes, one for food, one for Abby's things. One for beer. <coughs> That's the heaviest one. We can get that at the supermarket, though, when we get there. As long as you've got enough for the first night. Eight or ten cans, yeah. Yeah, grateful. We have to, we even plan how we pack things. Everything has a box and every box has a place in the car. We've done it so many times now that we're sort of used to how things fit in so we know we can get it all in the car. So that will pretty much get us on our way mm. until we land at site. And then we get there and chill out. Chill and out. Get a lot of stuff out yeah. and barbecue. And... Yeah. 
Great. So that's tip number 10, really, isn't it? Yeah. Chill out when you get there. Just Enjoy get the your set up life. done. Yeah. Sit down, have a beer, have a barbecue, have don't, a takeaway. Don't relax. worry about anything. Yeah. So, I think, guys, that is our, how we plan our trips, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, hang on a minute. I work on a Friday and Julie does everything until I get home. Yeah. And then I Basically. still do everything, yeah. 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 <laughs> she leaves work early, she's an early... Uh... Yeah, I get to finish at lunchtime. Anyway, I think for this vlog, that's about it. Don't forget to click on the links in the description and watch all the other channels' videos on the subject. Which are up here. That's the logos. Oh. The description's down below. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but for now, that is it. And we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye for now. Bye for now. Don't cover my face up. Bye.